we have come to this moment and I cannot ignore it any longer. This needs to be done. This strap is pretty gnarly. Now, let me remind you, again, if you haven't already um, watched some of my other videos and heard me talk about it, I make coffee for a living. Uh, my hands are constantly getting splashed with all kinds of things. Um, milk, water, coffee. I'm cleaning things all day long. And wearing a leather strap is probably really dumb of me to do in the beginning. Uh, I don't know what I was thinking. Yeah, for a leather strap to be exposed to those sort of elements all day long with no hope of ever drying it, uh, I would recommend if your job is any sort of uh, strenuous, heavy activity as mine is, I wouldn't recommend wearing a leather strap to your job. Uh, this is more for office work, for casual work, for a nice uh, date night. So I'm doing the only thing that can be done with this strap. So there, I finally threw the strap out, which means I have a Timex watch that is not wearable. I don't have any straps that fit it. I did have this, I, I tried putting this on a rubber strap that I had. Actually, let me go get it. This strap, yeah, I had it on um, this strap. Well, this is the strap I wanted to wear to work. However, it's too small. It doesn't actually fit on the watch. I mean, it fits on the watch, but it's too small, so it kind of clangs around a little bit. Uh, so I was wearing this at work with this strap. I was moving around and out of nowhere I felt a pop. The strap with the spring came off. I The watch was able to catch, I don't know how, on my fabric before it fell, but this is Timex so it probably wouldn't have damaged it. Um, I was able to catch the watch before it fell. Um, I lost the spring. The spring popped out of this and I thought, well, geez, I can't, this is too loose. It's catching on things. Um, so I'll probably go with like a NATO strap, uh, but I have to get the right size because I have a few other NATO straps, but they're all too big and I don't really want to squish a NATO strap into here because I don't want the same issue to happen. So because this thing popped out, it prompted me to actually get a big set of different sized spring bars. I have this Timex. I don't have a strap for it. I don't know when I'll be getting a strap. I'm thinking that I'm going to be making a new watch purchase. So when that happens, that's when I'll probably get a strap for this. There's a few things I want to do. I want to get a strap for this. I want to get a strap for my vintage Omega Seamaster that I have. I want to get a better strap. I think I want to actually splurge a little money on that and get a really nice quality strap. Right now I have it on a super cheap strap. Yeah, I want to get a new watch. I'm, I'm deciding between two right now. I have two in my head. I'm kind of sitting on them a little bit and it probably won't be for couple of weeks or so. So yeah, in the meantime, updates for the Timex Weekender is a, is a paperweight. Uh, so this has been Cautionary Tale Episode 2. Don't wear leather straps to a highly um, active job and don't put straps that don't fit on your watch to your highly active job. Uh, thanks for watching. Yeah, I guess I'll, I'll keep the updates coming. Well, yeah, that's uh, that's all been this for for this has been all for this video, and I'll see you uh, later.